Hey guys, welcome back, and let's start this, uh, metal one. I don't know. So, it's, it's kind of... I love the damn ship. It's just... I don't know. Anyways, you don't really want to fall here. Which is why I was about to show you. <laughs> so we have to, like, breach a facility. I'm not quite centered. And spam these guys. Ah, actually, still stuff. So, like, even people that far away... See, I, c I can actually hit them. Now, the whole gimmick with this place is uh, a lot of places to fall, so you got to be really be, be careful, because the inside the facility, it's really goddamn annoying. Oh, what the hell? Looks like I found a secret. This one was actually by accident. And now I need to center myself now. It's kind of strange. <laughs> I actually never found this on my first time, uh, so I guess we'll uh, explore this for a bit. We'll be blind. Uh, oh, I guess this is if you fall. Yeah, we're not going down there. That's that's a little too far to be falling. The falling noise he makes is really funny. It's like, yeah. I don't know. It sounds like um, you know, in Starcraft when you click the academy, it sounds like that. It makes me laugh. I can't go over here. Could be a problem. I would really like that stuff. Oh well. Too bad it's not like a physics game where I can bring like a, a lawn chair over and just hop on top of it. I like the wind noise. All right, well, uh, let's go back over here then. The secret's over. Go up the very slowly moving elevators. And lights, and we go. Okay. Why? That really does look like it's textured to look like the wall. How would you know to go in there? Who the hell shot me? Oh, whatever. Yeah, good. And we're gonna make these giant leaps of faith. Oh man. Let's kill him, might as well. I'm always unsure, because it's like, what the hell is. This? horribly designed. <laughs> Such a pain in the ass to look down. You guys, you guys take like up and down movements for granted. This game actually has like platforming in FPS games where you cannot look down properly. It's because it's a manly game. That's why. It's so hardcore. Yeah, let's look at the gold markers. Although we can't see the floor at all. And the stormtrooper. See, they alert, you get they alert you alert them, and then they like are walking around. It's kind of I, I think this is a modified pistol. That's what they said. Oh, we can go down here. Uh, I don't think we should go down there because there's a gigantic hole. What the hell? There's always places I can't go. All right, we can just use the bombs. <laughs> Gave us so much fun. All right, well, we have an elevator here which, which we can use, but we won't right now. Um, actually, yes, we will right now. What's up here? Nothing. Okay. Can we actually jump up there? Uh, maybe. How far do we have to be? Well, uh, let's give it a try. Oh, uh, actually, we can make it over there. Oh, make me back up. There we go. Actually, it's possible to make it here from the other direction, too. But actually, I want to see what's up here. And, oh, it's an extra life. I will need them. Oh, and I fell. Ow! That hurt. So you do take fall damage. If it's a, if it's height greater than, like, you know... Greater than, like... I, I don't know where I was going with that. Alright, anyways, um, okay, so we have it here, but there's a slight problem of we can't get inside, but they have a fatal flaw in their design. That's right, they ha they actually left the hole in the door. And you can open it up. Doors open! But, unfortunately, this, we can't do anything else here, because we have to go into the building another way. 
Which is, uh, kind of irritating, because this is actually the way out. That's where we are right now. Because we're trying to get into a bit, the facility. Uh, I guess we can try jumping over there. Or, I don't know, let's see what else is around. I think this goes, this just loops around. Yeah, it looks like it does. Got damn stormtroopers. Ah, uh, there's another one. I don't even know. It looks like just some jumble pixels. <laughs> They're pixel troopers. Alright, oh yeah, this is the jump. Okay, so that's where you'd come from. Now there is another entrance. I'm trying to find it. We're just gonna keep going around. Until we find something. It's an exploration game. Well, this might be actually where they all died before. And over here. Oh, yeah, this is actually where we're supposed to be. That's kind of awkward. God damn it. Alright. So, uh, in true Gordon Freeman style, we're in the vents. There's a giant turret in our way. The turrets are like the most annoying things in the world. That's why we have to equip this. And that thing doesn't move at all, actually, until the lights go on. Oh boy. The turrets just are a pain in the ass to take down. However, they don't seem to be much of a threat when you, the lights are up. Whoops. So I will just keep it like this, because I like it like this. Oh, we get a new pair of goggles. So just in case, you know, something goes, oh, come on, up in here, okay. <laughs> Uh, that's why I use infrared guys. And this guy's in the way. So is he. Now we get to our first kind of semi annoying room. There's uh, a shit ton of charts over there. I'll show you briefly. That's them. Yep, you're right. And it's just too much of a waste of ammo to take them all out, which is this is what you do. Run. The next room. You'll never need to go back there, so why bother? I mean, you know, you don't have to kill everything. You can conserve your ammo. No, but we have to kill everything in video games. Uh, we go down there at some point, I think. Oh. Actually, there's no point in me doing that. But now that I lost some health, there's, um, there's a guy here. And now we got him. Let's see if we can sneak out the other one. Yep, we can. It's not it's not actually that easy to game, uh like that's that's how I figured it out. It was basically when there's a large group of them in a place where I'm never gonna return, just don't kill them. Don't even bother. Alright, and here we got a magical room with a lot of shields, but we're just gonna leave that here because we're gonna be back at some point. Then we'll go into this room. Now this is a bit of an interesting room, but uh, it, has, it actually has a key code. Um, yeah, this, this game actually came with key codes, but uh, I don't think we have it. No, we don't. So for now, this door remains closed. I'm sure you can look it up, because it's the same damn code. It like, doesn't change. But you know. Hi guys, uh, sorry about that. <coughs> The, the ringing that you heard was actually the, f the building's fire alarm. So, uh... Where else could you find LPs with such danger? <laughs> I don't know. I, I think some asshole left their oven on or some shit, so... That's pretty much why it went off and uh, annoyed the hell out of me. I, I, I wasn't really dressed all that well. I, I should've... Like, uh, my stuff was in there. Why am I talking about this? Anyway, back about this game. Uh... Well, now my shields are running out, so we're actually running into some problems. Um, we need to find some health, like now, because I don't, I don't, I don't want to make my first death something lame like this. This is actually one of the easy levels, although I think I did die. Oh no, turrets! Oh, we got a new gun. 
which you got demonstrated it like right, right there. And there's a secret here, which is like a shitload of power cells. So this is kind of like the pistol in the sense that it's really accurate, but it uses a di doesn't use blaster ammo and it's faster. Uh, that's basically what it is. But we don't really need to use it like for now. We don't have enemies that we need to kill from range that fast, so we can just leave it the way it is. I'm actually gonna head back because we're over here. We left all this. And that's all this room has. So we got it. We got a good shield boost, which is nice. That's why I saved it. You know, if we wasted it, would have been, would have been a good idea. Oh shit! We can just keep him there. We don't have to. <laughs> we don't have to do anything with that turret. Just, just leave him there. You know, don't waste ammo. Why even bother? Oh my god. But uh, the, the the repeater gun isn't all that bad, but it kind of it's just more powerful than this. It's, that's all it is. Um, well, basically everything is, but you know, I could use fists the entire time. Then I proceed to use fists. Uh, this is a little bit of an interesting puzzle because uh, I remember actually getting stuck here. Uh, not not recently, but I like you know, I got stuck here. What you're supposed to do is, like, it's kind of weird. It's supposed to be like this. There you go. And that room opens up. It's like a it's like a secret room right here. Which has another repeater, of course. Uh, let's see if there's anything here. Nope, no secrets. And that's it. That's, that's all this room has. Go back up. Go on up. And we're here. Which is just some strange room. Actually, we can just slip bombs. We haven't done that in a while. And, uh, we can open those doors outside. I kind of forget where they are, actually. Like, uh, you can kind of see where they are. Like, oh, I actually know. I know where it is. I remember. I had trouble the first time I did. Like, I did this, this game by myself. Like, recently. Usually I just wander around aimlessly until I find something. <laughs> yes, it's that kind of game. Alright, uh, look, we're gonna have to run past here because I, I didn't kill the turret. And I still don't intend to. If you guys didn't notice, I did I did pick up a key card. Um, and I'll show you how it works. As soon as I get to the door, I'm so, oh, this door. Okay. Uh, so all you do is you press escape. Uh, no, no, escape. Uh, F1. Inventory. And it's 3 half triangle D. So you just find the symbols. 3. It's just easy if, if you name it something. Half triangle. D. And it opens. It's kind of arbitrary right now. I like how the music picked up. It's awesome. Alright, well, this is like a little bit of the, um, I don't know. Now I'm going to use this to snipe the turrets. Is it going? Is it killing them? I assume it is. That's why you have this thing now. Okay, it's not actually hitting me. Those those squares you see are actually turrets. I know it's really hard to see, but that's that's how hardcore this game is. Yep, there's a turret there. Trying to hit me? Nope. Can't hit. Oh, whoops. No. I was gloating, and then there's another one behind me. <laughs> this is such a massive turret. Whoa. Oh, wait, I know. Just you. So, the metal, what we need is right over there. This this, this, this window is like a, it's a quick bulletproof thing. There it is. Um, we have to get that bridge down, because there's actually these stupid rooms. Uh, that will be that. Okay, we'll, we'll just get that door first, then. Okay, why don't we go all the way down here? You just gotta know where the, the doors are, kind of a thing. You just hop in, press the switch. And it opens one of the doors uh, that's beside the control room, and you gotta repeat this process uh, several times, mind you. And that should be about right, yeah. So it opens one of these doors, um, and it's gonna take a while for this to occur. But we're out of time, so I'll just... Yeah, I'll, we'll finish it up next week. 
uh, so that next week tomorrow. So see you then. Bye. Welcome back to more Dark Horses. This very old, old, old school game, but it's a lot of fun. So I, I, I say that a lot. It's because people are probably gonna complain. It's like, oh my god, you're not playing Black Ops. Did, did I get the voice right? <laughs> Everything must be about the latest brown shooter. Oh wait, oh yeah, I got it. Okay. And the last one right there. Alright, let's get that one. I love the bobby motion of the guns. It's just, I don't know, it looks really cool. You feel like a badass. Plus, you kind of are a badass because you just kill everything with one hit. You really don't want to fall there, that's just not a good idea. You can probably imagine why, but you know. Some things just have to be said. Okay, and the last one, that's already open. And it's gonna go all the way back up here. Alright, let's just point it upwards a bit. And he hit me a fair bit, but that's okay. You're getting nervous. As this is where you go, it's a nice little sewer that damages you a lot. <clears throat> and it throws you back here. Yay, we did it! That's a lot of security for just a hunk of metal. Alright, we're going to have to run past him again. We already know all this. We're going back to that door that was here, and this is like the weirdest place. So you go here, oh, this little corner. That's where you go. It's highly annoying. Oh, this is, this is, uh, you have the turrets here. And then we run out, uh, run outside, and then, uh, that's it. We just gotta go back to the landing, the landing place, and that's, uh, no fun and easy task, because we're back in this friggin' place. But we haven't lost any lives, which is really good, because we, we do get our health back, but not the lives back. Well, you, you get minimum three, like, that's what it does. Uh, why is that even worth it? won't be worth it, because if I die, then I die. The health does not matter at this point, because I'm just going back. And we're here. Yay, we did it! And one of the cool things you can do is, uh, fall off, and then just go next mission. Like noise when he made when he fell. I don't even know. I, c I can't make that noise. All right, something about a small moon. There's a mining facility here. We need to slow the dark trooper project, so we're gonna land, put an explosive there, and then we get back to the ship. That's it. It's actually a pretty fun mission. And did you notice how like every mission like kind of has unique music to it? I still like this, this pistol for this kind of stuff. Still really, still really useful. I mean, that guy's just not going to be in my way. So it's, this is just the best strategy, just to brute force everything. That's what I call it. Brute force. So this is apparently a mining facility, and you notice how like the the, the settings always get like different. <laughs> it's really cool, actually. They have droids now. <laughs> He actually blew up and damaged the guys around him. I didn't realize it did that. Uh, oh, this is a weapon supercharge. <laughs> let's, just, let's just steamroll this. Damn it. Every weapon does this. Including fists. I am the fists of something. I don't know. This is a fantastic way to, to like get rid of all your ammo, though. Let's keep running through it. I'm not gonna go for the guys up, up top there. I'll just show you how everything does it. There you go. I think that's all I have. The grenades don't really count. Oh, and we get another gun. That's that's the soap weapon supercharged speed. It's really it's not a good weapon. <laughs> don't don't be fooled. This is probably the worst gun in the game. Welcome. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you how bad it really is. As soon as I find out where to go next, because we're not going into those things. It would be okay if the projectiles weren't just so fucking slow. You know, there's like random 
places like that thing goes down, I don't even know why. And we're still killing stormtroopers. As you can tell, this is a running theme of this game, just killing stormtroopers. Really, can you be surprised? It's a Star Wars game. Oh, and there's turrets there, so we'll just skip that way. Kind of, if you miss them, just they're right over there. Like, if there's an alternate path, I will take it. I'm in violation of Imperial Law, apparently. What are you gonna do about it? Apparently, nothing. I'm just gonna die. And more health. Now, this place is a little bit different. Okay, so this thing has like a little weird thing which goes up to the top. All you would see up there is the skybox. It's really nothing there. It's just red. So what you do is you actually stay down here, and what you're looking for is the there's a way in, and I'm trying to look there it is. Okay, and then they have the crushinator. Like everywhere, apparently these stormtroopers are just like you know really sucks. Like their boss just goes, hey, just, just stand outside, like hear these crushing things. Just randomly space yourself to, to catch any intruders that may or may not be going here. This is why being a stormtrooper really sucks. You have to have much respect for the guys. And this is a place where lasers bounce around. So we can see over there there's there's like health, but there's actually the key there. Can't really see it. But we'll go there right now. As soon as the crushinator is done. I think it's over here. Yeah, it is. That is a bit of a tough one to get into. If you die, that's that's the life gone. There you go. See? You just be careful. It's like BBBBB with platforming. <laughs> They're both the same game in a lot of ways. Alright, and over here we... I kind of just peek in just to see what's over there, but there usually isn't, I think. And also, you don't die by the Crushinator. Um, it just eats your health up really quickly. Uh, oh, I guess. I'm not going to show you an example. I'll probably fall in as a good example. Okay, well, uh, let's just wait here. They die so easily. But there's so many of them on hard, that's, that's the whole thing. Okay, let's hope I don't fuck this up. Oh, shit. Okay, well, now you get to see it. So it took away about 100 shields. Which is, you know, a lot towards getting you killed. Okay, and... Oh, look. Oh, uh, some of these guns have alternate fire. This would be one of them. This one doesn't. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that thing was there. This has alternate fire, which is just a, like, a triangle formation thing. Is it dead? There we go. I like that thing because it's just way more damage. Uh, now, this you'd be probably confused, but there's actually a platform underneath. Which is like, you know, you're probably thinking to yourself, how the hell would you ever figure that out? Well, I had a trouble figuring that out. It's really a pain in the ass to get some of these guys. I this is way faster. I'll get him on my, when I get in there. <laughs> I should stop jerking around and actually go somewhere. Okay, so when that goes up, you make a leap to faith. With like a billion thermal detonators here, apparently. Just, you know, leave them lying around in the miner, mining inner, like, whatever it is. <coughs> and, oh look, it's a uh, place. So we can kind of explore a little bit before we go uh, plant the mines, because we can actually get some nice health here. But there's turrets all over the place, so it's probably better that we don't actually go into any of these um, a little later on, because this is actually, like, conveniently a lot of health uh, all over the place, and you can just probably imagine what's going to happen once I place a charge. Candy's going to fly out of the machine, and I'm going to be left, like, running around with it. Alright, here we go. Let's put it in. Oh, what, what what's going on? Oh, I, I don't know. And Dark Trooper. Phase 1. You have actual phases. He's not the smart one, as you can probably tell. He's probably one of the lamest bosses ever. Oh look, he died. You think? 
Yeah, that was easy as hell. <laughs> I'll be honest. Alright, uh, now we have to get out, which is, uh, this interesting place. <clears throat> and by interesting, I mean interesting. So here's what you do. Stand here. It's gonna open these doors very slowly. So I have to use this to just basically shoot the crap out of all of them. Why am I shooting the floor? There we go. I'm just gonna fire this gun because I, I need to clear as many of them out. Basically when I start moving it's gonna close and be like some Indiana Jones shit, so I really don't want them to be in the way. Alright. Ready guys? Woo! You got sprints. That's it, we made it out. And we can get some more shields. Uh, nothing else really here except a weapon supercharge. Spam. I think we can jump to the other side. Nope, we can't. And they have a lot of weapon supercharges here, I just noticed. I wonder why they don't pick it up. Why do they just leave it conveniently lying around for me? Alright, more shields. Alright, I just want to punch someone to death. Super fist. <laughs> that shit looks funny as hell. Alright, and we made it out here again. You may recognize this, or may not. But we can't we can't actually go up there again. That was where we came from. What we have to do is we have to go this way. Oh, and I probably shouldn't have stood near him. And up oh, there we go. Go up here. I actually want to go get that thing. Oh, there's Jan Jan's ship. I forgot what it's called. It's I don't know. I think it has a cool name. What's up? Okay, let's get out of here. <sighs> Explosion, Michael Bay. <laughs> Michael Bay back in 1995. This contemptible excuse for an officer will no longer divulge any more information to that rebel, Kyle Katarn. Katarn will not be as easy to deal with. He is very resourceful. More resourceful, it seems, than even your dark troopers. I understand the threat, Lord Vader. Katarn was once an impressive Imperial officer, but he was weak and gave up on the struggle for our new order. I wouldn't put much faith in his abilities. Katarn will never come near this ship. My new hire will see to that. It's Fett. Oh my god. Okay. Ah, uh, bad news. Our spy, Crix, has been captured. Oh darn. So he's in an Imperial detention facility. And so I was just explaining how all this works. Um, I don't think it actually explains how hard it is. Uh, oh, it does actually explain. Kind of. But you'll see what I'm talking about. So we only have enough time to basically start this up. Basically starting it. Sounds just fun to me. I am off in this area. Like, no shit, it's like a prism. <laughs> Dur, you're not authorized here. And you can actually go down here with the stuff in here. Okay. Now, we do get actually some really cool weapons, uh, like, as you progress through the game. Uh, my favorite one is, like, one of the last ones, and you'll get to see it. Not for a while, though. I'm such a tease, aren't I? Oh. Hey, where'd you come from? I don't know why I'm using that thing at, like,. I know, I like this one because it's just accurate. <laughs> and the music is just... Uh, it's 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 like an MD, uh, MDI... Oh, it, what, what are they called? I, I, I call them MIDIs. But like, it's like... Dude, I don't know if anyone else remembers what, how the MIDI set files... I don't know, MIDI files are. But they're like these ultra small ones. Like, like look it up. It's like, it sounds so shitty, but like the... I don't know. The songs had a lot of personality, what did I say? <laughs> it's just something that you wouldn't want to really listen to. Yeah, man, I got the latest <laughs> on my MIDI player. And no, no, fuck MP3 players. I got a MIDI player, yo. <laughs> Imagine if those ever caught on. 
they're basically only only like, capable of a couple of sounds. Okay, so we have this giant floating triangle. There we go. Um, I don't even know why we're on a giant floating triangle, but we are. We're gonna have to end this off since it just gets to the point where I can kill everything. And we go up it. Just shooting mass genocide so I can finish out. Oh, that's good enough. Okay, so we'll breach the security of the uh, detention center when we come back. So, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.